Today is the first day of spring and I have a surprise for you. Well, actually, it's a surprise for me. Look what I've got. I've got a special box. So excited. I'm so excited. Woohoo! Hello there. My name is Liz, a self-confessed succulent addict. Welcome to my channel, Growing Succulents. So this box came from Lena, Lena Lee, Le Lena Lee, such a sweet, sweet lady. <laughs> what am I doing here? I don't even know how to open it. I'm just gotta be careful. Open, open. Oh my goodness. I'm shaking and shaking. I already know what's in here because, oh, hang on. We have been exchanging correspondence Okay, you ready? Are you ready? Because I'm not. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, okay. It's just good. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. Look how, how nicely she packed it in. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Got special labels. So what I want to do with this ones is actually just put it all out here. But look at that, huh? Look how nicely packed it is. So we can have a look at it better. Oh, that looks like a big plant. I lay it all out here. Thank you so much, Lena, for taking the time to actually wrap this up so well. And hang on, the small ones I put on top, and then, ooh, feels heavy. And, <laughs> oh my goodness, I am just overwhelmed. This is so, I can already see what's on top, but just to make sure I didn't miss out on anything. Okay, let's begin. <laughs> the first one I'm seeing is Gilva Crested. I nearly drop it. <laughs> I'm gonna put it here. <gasps> oh my goodness, check this out. Oh wow. It's a crested Gilva and it's also variegated. Oh my lord. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. Lena, you're gonna make me cry. This is so generous. This is most generous. You know why? This is all for free. So I don't have to pay for this. It's just, I just have to swap her <laughs> with some of my plants. Well, she didn't really say I should swap her with some of my plants, but I just feel like it's only right that if someone gives you something generously or even ungenerously, it's only right that you return the favor, if you can call it a favor, because it's really like swapping. Hang on, it's just the sun is not very good, okay? So, but anyway, hang on, I think, I think we better move a bit closer here. Look at that, it's beautiful. Look at the cresting, oh my, I mean the cresting and the variegation. Can you see that? It's not just the sun, I better, okay. I'm gonna block it with this so you can see better. Look at that. Oh my goodness, and it's huge. It's, this is a big plant. This is worth some money as well. So, very expensive plant. Okay, you go to Gilva Crest. Now the next one is Lemon Lime Silk Variegated. Most of it are <laughs> variegated. Oh, hang on, sorry, the labels. Now, you go here. Okay. Oh, oh this is so precious. So precious. Okay, that's lemon lime silk variegated she's already given me uh, lemon lime variegated before but this one is silk variegated so cute very cute now the next one is best base it's only a leaves but I haven't got a best base you know well I've got mine that I've grown but I haven't got like a proper colorful best base and Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, there's two of them. Oh wow. Lena, I can't thank you enough. I am just overwhelmed by your generosity. And look at that. It's just absolutely beautiful. And look at that. Look how cute that is. Beautiful best baits. This one doesn't have a name. But I think she, the name came off or something. I don't know, but we'll see. Oh, 
Yes, this is the one that she doesn't have a name, she said. So this is an unknown. Oh, there you go. That is absolutely beautiful. There you go. Gorgeous plant. So cute. And the next one is a Medusa. Yeah, Medusa. This is Ionium. Okay. Unless it's an Echeveria Medusa. Is there an Echeveria Medusa? But anyway. <gasps> okay. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous. Nice variegation. Look at that Medusa. Ah, where's your snakes? Anyway, that's a beautiful plant. Oh, I love the variegation. It's different to the Mardi Gras and also my Inferno. That's the only one I've got now. Now I've got a Medusa. Now this one is very, 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 very special. So this one, it says EPVN, Echeveria PVN, but this is no ordinary PVN. There's not too many people who's actually got this or I've seen that have this. She's the first one I've seen that's got this one. This is a variegated Echeveria PVN, but it's not the standard West Rainbow. It's a silk variegated one. Ah, oh, look at that. Oh, gorgeous. But anyway, so this one's a bit low now, so I'm gonna take off the leaves here and that one there just so as to give it time to dry up and callus off so this one now i'm gonna have to put over here and i lost the label should i just not talk <laughs> and just open this <laughs> i have to talk because it's just so cute it's so super cute this is a variegated monroe unreal and look it's got a couple of roots ready growing now this one is i love my caranculated plants so i haven't got an etna i was gonna buy one and she's like she's like no 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 don't buy one i give you one <laughs> so now i've got an etna and most of my caranculated plants now i'm not gonna even grow them out because in winter they just suffer so they are going to, I'm going to build a special place or a special, maybe a greenhouse uh, is in order. So, ah, oh, look at that beautiful. Oh, that is also like, it's so cute, like the shape and the form. And this is not a small plant. It's going to grow into big, massive, gorgeous plant. How this started, she, well, we, she sent me some plants before already as you've seen in the other video but anyway this is now the second lot and the reason why she sent me some plants this time she just out of the blue asked me if i've got some chocolate and strawberry strawberry lenopetalum so lenopetalum and i said i do have some leaves but it reverted back so a friend of mine gave me some leaves but it reverted back to normal so this one now she said oh i'll give you some variegated ones and cuttings and it's not only one she's giving me three i just have to wait to make sure because she's she, i mean i'll give you three look at that oh look at that gorgeous these are very easy to grow so i'm not even going to pull the leaves you know you can pull the leaves oh it's got roots as well so i could propagate them but i'll just leave them for now and look i've got three 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 lenopetalum there you go so we're gonna pop this up when i finish all my little chit chat here and also uh she sent me a message saying have you got a lapin so she's just out of the blue she would just send me messages and say have you got this have you got that and i say no i haven't got this i haven't got that and even if i do i really like to get but i don't i don't have any uh achiveria lapine or lapin lapine lapine okay lapine i would say lapine anyway i'll open this up and it's all i'm singing again because i'm happy 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 oh look at that cuteness it's very compact and oh you just want to do this it's like you good girl <laughs> So anyway, there's some dry leaves in the bottom. We just remove the dry leaves and she's ready to go. Look at that, it's ready roots. Look at that. Oh my goodness, Lena. But anyway, I haven't met her yet because of all this COVID and 
the lockdown on oh, the next one I'm just gonna chit chat while opening this okay so because of the COVID I can't really well we can't really go and meet up and see each other so I was supposed to go to Sydney to visit my kids and grandkids but because of the lockdown we can't anymore so when this lockdown is all over I just want to surprise you Tinkerbell ding, 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 ding. <laughs> I am a nut okay now that one I'm gonna take a couple of leaves from the bottom but anyway that is just gorgeous Tinkerbell now the next one is called Echeveria Rubidonna Rubidonna is going to go here and it's quite a big plant already you can see it's a big plant it's a mature plant she's very generous I mean she doesn't just give you uh, what do you call this like leaves or small plants she gives you well she's been giving me as much as what she could spare because she she's also a collector she doesn't well from what she told me that she doesn't uh, sell any of uh, her plants she just swaps and grows them she's just a succulent nut like me <laughs> a succulent lover <laughs> look how beautiful this is this is supposed to be a pink opalina or graptiveria opalina but look at that it's just so gorgeous it is absolutely beautiful look how pink it is just beautiful pinkness hey eh? and so fat and like healthy her plants are really healthy anyway the next one is called diamond state right up my alley gemstones anyway we'll put you here diamond state so I don't get confused I'm not gonna get confused anyway because I've got this video to refer back to and this is a good thing about doing the video but anyway uh, Lena we met uh, well she actually watches my video on YouTube and she sent me a message saying do you sell some plants and I said no I don't and <laughs> I'm hiding it from you I know and so that's how it started and we sent messages backwards and forwards and she's like have you got this have you got that you know like I don't I mean I haven't got that much plants to give her but I did send her some plants as well but anyway so first time she sent me some plants I was just blown over as to how generous uh, she is and such a beautiful 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 girl anyway so but anyway, this one now is diamond state and this is like a different diamond state I don't know if there's I haven't got a diamond state so I'm not really sure if they're supposed to look like this but this is also a variegated one but look how nice and oh spiky like beautiful beautiful it's like the form uh, it's different so people a lot of people say well I have a friend who comes here who's not into succulent and she says why are you growing plants that all look the same no they don't they don't look the same they're all different <laughs> so the next one drum roll <laughs> cubic cross variegated now I'm already having kittens right now I mean that means for those who doesn't understand the saying it means I'm really 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 excited because I've been wanting a cubic cross it was my friend Jem's fault because she uh, gave me some leaves and it reverted and I'm like hoping to grow some more uh, cubic frost that's variegated because I love variegated plants contrary to I mean a lot of people don't like variegated plants but I love them I love the because uh, they say variegated plants are supposed to be like weak plants no they're just different just like different people we all have a rainbow well, I am a rainbow. I like rainbows. I am a, my personality is rainbow, so that's why I like variegated plants. So now, cubic frost. Why am I holding the label? Because I need to open this. I am just so excited. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm singing again, and I can't hide it because I know, I know, I know, I know. I've got a really, 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 really good plant. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Oh, you are so beautiful. Look at this. Now, anyway, this, oh, one of the leaves is about to fall off. Oh, oh, yes, look at that. Oh, look how cute the color. So that leaves, look at that. And then the plant, 
Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. Might as well remove one of the leaves here too. Ah, there you go. Oh, I'm so, I'm so scared. Okay. Now, another one here because that's gonna, oopsie, oopsie. Please grow into variegated as well. There you go. Okay, so now two big frost. Thank you. Thank you, Lena. I'm gonna be thanking you from here to eternity. So, okay, we open it. Open, open. This one, she said she bought it from the market with no name. And look at the center. This is some sort of Vachiviria gavoides, but look at the swirl. It's like a whirlwind, that's it, that's what I was looking for. That's what it reminds me of, swirling, swirling, swirling. <laughs> so whirlwind. I could actually call this Echeveria whirlwind because she said it didn't have any name. And I've been looking online to see what this could possibly be, but nothing. So anyway, if you know, look at the center. It's just focus on the center. Oh my goodness, it's so gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna call you whirlwind because if I do propagate from this, if I take a couple of the leaves in the bottom, then I wouldn't know what it is. So I have to call you whirlwind. Now, I am saving the best for last. You ready? Drum roll again, drum roll. We do a drum roll again. Yeah! <laughs> Compton Carousel! I've heard a lot of horror stories about Compton Carousel. A few months ago, I mean, only about three months ago, this is still like $450. And the price, well, on one uh, website or online succulent store that's selling it. And I've been wanting a Compton Carousel for ages. And a friend of mine got one for $100. Well, actually, she bought one first. And... It died on her. She bought it in winter after I told her, don't buy anything in winter. But anyway, she went and bought one and she killed it. So, and she paid $450 for it. So she cried. And anyway, long story short, she got another one a few months later and she only paid $100 for it. And it grew and had so many babies. And I said to her, please, could you sell me one? You know, like reserve one for me and uh, I will buy it off you. You know, it's not given or anything like that, so I'll buy it off you. So I'll be the first one that you have. Could you please sell it to me? So anyway, she separated her plants, and this is the story she told me, and then now they died. Even the mother died. So she had five babies, I think, but they all died. But anyway, so I've heard a lot of other people as well saying Compton Carousel is really hard to grow because they are such... Diva. <laughs> Are you a diva plant? Are you going to be a diva with me? So I'm scared now whether I'm going to kill this with too much kindness. Because normally with my succulents, if I just leave them and let them be, they grow. But then if I tend to give it too much tender loving care, then they die. So... What I like to do is just plant and forget. Well, you know, I, I check up on them every now and then because you have to make sure they're not creating mischief or being naughty or anything like that. But anyway, that is such a big, beautiful plant. So this would be, at, say, a year ago even, this would cost about $500, I mean, this size. And some people are selling tiny, like little, like four leaves in the center for upwards of $250. So anyway, and yet for a plant that's supposed to be really hard to grow. So anyway, I'm just gonna, oh, okay, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna love you, I'm gonna love you forever. Okay, am I kissing the plant? Okay, okay, give you my, 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 ooh, give you my vibes, my energy, the energy I get from all the rocks that I find or the gemstones that I find. I'm now about ready to pot up my Lena Lee collection, but I thought instead of potting them up and showing you a finished product with beautiful succulents already potted up, I thought I might as well show you a step-by-step -step because this is really important. This is how a lot of people who buys new succulents and how they kill the succulents and they want 
wonder why. So this will just eliminate or lessen the death rates of succulents, of your succulents, basically, because these are all different succulents and they all have different requirements, different needs, different soil mix, and also different pots. And on the next video of my Lena Lee plant haul collection, I'm going to show you how I'm going to pot them up and also as to why. And that way you can prevent or if not avoid killing your succulents. Thank you very much for watching guys and I'll see you on the next video.